The world recently got its first look at the design for the 2016 Olympic medals. But athletes care about gold the most, and they're always on the lookout for ways to win. Hundreds of a second sometimes spell the difference between first place and second place. So popular mechanics looked at some of the gear and technology athletes are using to boost their chances at next month's Rio Games. Here with more is the magazine's senior associate editor, Matt Goulet. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So listen, let us start with... Uh, Justin Gatlin, right? Mm -hmm. Great sprinter. He runs against Usain Bolt and loses in the World Championship by like, is it 10 milliseconds? Something like a tenth of an eye blink is what they kind of brought it down to. I don't know about yeah. you, but sometimes I blink and I don't even realize that <laughs> I blink. Know it. Yeah. You know? So what's he doing to boost his chances of actually winning? So Gallen is working with uh, U.S. track and field's Ralph Mann. He's their resident biomechanist who's developed this sort of performance model uh, to, to sort of enhance it and make best Gallen in, in, in Rio. Mm -hmm. um, what they'll do is in their training, they'll set up a, four high-speed cameras around Gatlin. They'll run through his start. Uh, they'll go back to the computer and over the video of Gatlin running, uh, they'll overlay this sort of fluorescent stick figure that that details sort of the ideal position where each part of oh, Gatlin's body that. should be. Right, that is really cool. Um, so looking over that, uh, if any part of his body sort of falls out of lockstep with that, the, his team knows that that's what he needs to work on to improve. Mm -hmm. um, if when he, he begins to run in complete sync with that model, he could eventually uh, beat Bolt and win gold. Fascinating. Yeah. All right, but for all the focus on biomechanics, ex-Olympian Michael Johnson uh, has talked about the importance of his shoes. Now, what's he's done to, to change the track spike? Right. So we all remember Michael Johnson's gold shoe, the oh, 96 yeah. games. Uh, he ran the 200 meter, and one of the things he prided himself most about that was sort of turning the corner there. Uh, he, what he really needed was sort of to get that feel, uh, the sort of feel his foot flex along the track as mm -hmm. he was turning the corner. But the track spike he was using then uh, really didn't have that much give. So he partnered with Nike and was one of the first athletes to really develop the shoe personally with them. Uh, so they cut slots sort of in the sprint spike itself yeah. uh, that helped him kind of give that flexion that was coming around the corner and cut some of the weight out of the shoe. Okay, so when you think sprinter, you think shoe. When you think boxer, you don't think shoe. But they're doing stuff with the this shoes. This time right? you do, yeah. yeah. Uh, Under Armour is incorporating their clutch fit technology into U.S. boxing this year. It's a, a tech fabric technology that they developed that actually first appeared in their football cleats. Um, and what it does is sort of creates this very uh, kind of stuck in feeling around the foot. Uh, Michaela Mayer of U.S. Boxing said it's like putting on a really thick sock. So it, it provides tremendous support around the foot, uh, but still has give when, say, they're turning into to a punch or something. Mm -hmm. So she can sort of feel that stability without feeling she's going to slip. Uh, the other cool thing about the boxing boots this year is that they've actually, uh, boxers have always complained about their feet getting too hot. And right. Under Armour is incorporated and mesh into the, the boot this year. So there's an, Supreme breathability that they're. Tell us about have. Ryan Lochte's super swimsuit. <laughs> so, Speedo tries to up their game every year with, uh, with their suits, and uh, Ryan will be swimming in the Laser Racer X, which sort of incorporates two different fabric technologies in there. Uh, there's uh, the sort of a thicker material that has just like this two-way stretch. It supplies uh, incredible compression where he needs it sort of around the thighs, around uh, the glutes, um, and then sort of less uh, lighter material. Um, and where he doesn't really need it. The other cool thing about that is they've created a, a seam that's sort of sonically welded. The, the two materials are fused together along the thigh muscles. So those muscles are a little more activated. He feels a little more in the water and he's, he's gonna feel like he's going a lot faster. And it doesn't take a half hour to put on like the other that's, ones. Yeah, those old Mac ones were a pain, yeah. <laughs> Matt Goulet, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, if sprinting and swimming, maybe not, that's not your thing. How about candied bacon and donut sliders? <laughs> we will show you the over-the-top delicacies being served up at one state fair this summer. You're watching CBS This Morning, Saturday.